welcome back to my knowledge that session run with me today we are going to continue on the topic uh, partner directory in the cloud platform integration in this we have already created two videos on this series uh, i request all of you to go through that first two videos before coming to the the three video, the third video the first video uh, we started with a simple scenario uh, uh, simple scenario the real time case what we took was uh, you may have a multiple vendors and each, uh, and you are receiving a same set of data from a different vendors in a different format so each each vendor uh, will send a data in a different format but your target system will require in a one one final format so how we are going to uh, map this uh, different source to a common source common target uh, that mapping uh, mapping configuration we store it in a common place called uh, partner directory and uh, through the iflow we we receive an uh, uh, payload from the vendor and pick the correct configuration from the partner directory and convert it to the uh, final target this is what we took a case so in the first video we started with a, this scenario a different vendors sending us the same business information but each in their own format we built an in flow that converted everything into a final target format but at that stage the mapping configuration we hard coded uh, in, a, in a place called content modifier all right in the second video um, we slightly improved that design by moving that hard coded mapping configuration out of the iflow and put it in a, a, a parent direct partner directory that allowed us to store the mapping information centrally instead of embedding into the each iflow itself right so now in this third video we will complete this uh, picture we will see how the iflow can dynamically read the partner id from the incoming message header and look up the corresponding mapping configuration in the partner directory and then apply it to transform the payload into a final target format with no hard coded in values inside the high flow at all right so this makes us the solution flexible scalable and easy to maintain no matter how many partners we need to onboard any change in the existing configuration mapping or addition or deletion of a partners to, to our system right so let us now go to the uh, practical things and uh, we will we'll create one iflow and we will read it from the partner directory using a group a script and convert convert it to the final format with another group a script okay so i again request all of you to go to the first two videos uh, first video explain the same thing but using a hard coded value uh, second video will show how a partner directory can be maintained and the third video which we are going to look now is completely uh, <coughs> uh, remove the hard coded information and the read from the partner directory and to the result as we record okay and now i am inside the high flow <laughs> we will work on the third video now sorry a third iflow now okay uh, so just give a recap uh, so this is this is our use case uh, partner is going to send the information like in this way uh, customer they will call it as a customer but partner b they will call it as a cost id here partner a they call amount as amount they will call it as the order amount currency code is a cur like that okay so we take two partners, partner A and partner B. 
and but we the final output is like this we want the final output is customer id total amount currency like this so when iflow receive this payload how it will map this customer to customer id or this cust id to customer id this is what we, we were doing that for that this mapping information is the key this mapping information we stored it in a in a hot coded way in iflow now what we did is we moved this information to a partner directory in a common place so the iflow will read uh, a header information saying that whether it is coming from a, a or b based on that that key it will go and read this value mapping information and convert this to this or this to this okay so this is what we are going to do it so because partner a or partner b or partner c is going to send some information with some key values a groovy script is going to read the partner directory and get the mapping information and then another groovy script is going to convert the the source to target this is what we are going to do it okay now we will go to that type of the first type of <coughs> the first type of is like this so we were hot coded the mapping information in the content modifier so the second group script will convert it this is what we very initial way we did in the first video as a hard coded information in the second video what i did is i went to the monitoring section in the monitoring section in the partner directory section i stored this information partner a and partner b the mapping values are stored so the second video, second video we are uh, focusing on the how to maintain the partner directories now in the thir third video what we are going to do is The third video that is taking mission is low. The third video, uh, this the third iflow, which is this like this. So first, it is going to read from the partner directory, and uh, another group script we are going to uh, convert it. Okay. Now let us see how we are going to uh, read it from a partner directory. This is a group script. The group script you can see that what I'm going to do I'm going to read it from a header. Uh, this partner ID I already hard coded as a P1 because in the here I already made it in the P1. P1 will have multiple parameters, string parameters, partner A and partner B. So this P1 I hard coded here. From the header, I'm going to read a flag called partner ID. So the partner ID which I am going to send it as a partner A or partner B. Based on that, it is going to uh, read the read the statement uh, partner directory service uh, get parameter ID. So it will read the the template value, the mapping configuration value will be read. And once the configuration is read, then I am going to create a, another property called my partner template. That partner template will be stored as a uh, uh, property in the header okay now coming to the uh, next one below 
this you already you know the previous videos i already showed that how to convert that to the groove script in that groove script uh, we are reading that uh, the template from the string uh, from the property value which you read from the previous google then finally we are using this uh, canonical uh, final output so this groove script i already explained in the previous video which is similar to same thing only difference is instead of hard coded value like here i am going to read it from the partner director that's it okay now we will execute it and see it now uh, now i will execute it and see it now how it works okay okay now i will simulate it uh, i will start simulation and end simulation okay in the start simulation i am going to pass a header value called partner id okay the partner id value is i am going to call it as a partner e the name space will be there with problem so I'll make sure no problem. okay in the body i am going to set the their format partner a i put as a partner a right so i am going to set this format okay now i will simulate it simulation is successful so now we will see that uh, so the groovy script explanation i already gave in the last video so you can refer to that or i will put the groovy script also you will understand that so from the beginning so i am sending a header parameter called partner i parameter id is partner a so it will go to so this groovy script will go to partner directory and read the mapping configuration of that partner a so the output will be along with the header you will have another property called partner template so the template will be read here okay this groovy script will convert back to the final body so in this place the body will be as it is will be sent by the customer the same format but after this the conversion will be as per the new format right that our format same way we can test for partner b also We will do that. Say I will, I will say partner B. Okay. Instead of I am going to send the partner B format. We send the partner B format here. Simulate again. So you will get a property called partner B properties. So you see it read the corresponding uh, template and it will be converted as a final output. Suppose you are sending a wrong ID or wrong thing, you will get a null value here. Suppose in this place, suppose you are passing a partner A and you are sending a partner B template, then the final output will be null. that's it so hope uh, this session will be helpful to you so finally what we have done is uh, this is a partner a send some value or partner b some value but the the content is same only the template are different but our final output is in a, a different format so using this mapping configuration the groovy script convert this template to this, this template or this template to this template based on the header value which I am passing either partner A or partner B. So first group script will read appropriate template from the partner directory and convert it. That's it. That's what we did it. So this is what we did it. So different vendors will send a different format. The first group script will read the template and convert it.
okay and that's it so i uh, hope this partner directory concept will be uh, helpful to you uh, i request all of you to put your comments put your questions i will be happy to reply back okay thank you and thank you for watching